Let's talk about surface shading. Surface shading refers to the shading of our objects in the viewport, but also in the rendering later on. And with shading, what is meant is basically the decrease or increase of brightness or shadows on your surface uh, of your object. It's a little bit more easy to understand if I add a cube and I just move the camera a little bit out. And as you can see, the surfaces are differently shaded. The one on the top is the brightest one, then comes the one on the left and then the one on the right side. And this is, of course, because the light source probably is somewhere on top of our scene. Actually, there's no light source in our scene. Um, but of course, in order to see something, there is some imaginary light source, a default light source, which is always um, present in Cinema 4D. But it's only as long as there's no other light added to your scene. So as soon as you would add, for example, a default Cinema 4D light, uh, you can see it's in the cube. And this is why this is now um, black. So as soon as I remove the light again, the default light will switch on. Now back to shading, as you can see, the surface is differently shaded. Now, if I have a look at our uh, cylindrical shaped object right here, you can see it is smooth on the inner part of the surface. But if you look at the outer part of it, you see it's still segmented or very low segmented. And um, yeah, what's happening here? In order to understand what's happening here in the inside of the surface, we have to cover again a topic which we already talked a little bit about and that is um, on the one hand the topic of segmentation. So segmentation basically just means that our object is separated um, by different edges and they can be horizontal or they can be vertical. And you can change the segments when using the parametric objects, that's very simple. And later on when we go to polygon modeling we can also change the amount of segments or polygons in our object manually by using different kind of tools. Um, another thing is that we don't see the segments by default in Cinema 4D and we already talked about this also in other videos but just to remind you of that here is uh, you have to activate the grout shading lines in order to see the segmentation. So we go to display grout shading lines and basically the Grout shading thing is an algorithm invented by a guy called Grout, probably his surname, um, but nevertheless, it's an algorithm which kind of shades your object in the scene. And if we would turn that off for a second and we go to constant shading, you see we wouldn't see any kind of shading details on our surface. Even more so, for example, if I add a cube, you see it will be uh, completely white. So it's quite useful to have some shading in our scene in order to get the the shape or to understand the shape of our 3D objects. And this is where the yeah the shading, or in this particular case, the grout shading comes um, into play. Now to now understand the segmentation or the different steps of shading, you have to understand what normal is in 3D space. And actually normals are also quite an important topic, um, which will come into um, yeah which will come back later on in on, on multiple occasions um, so what is a normal a normal is basically just an up vector which is perpendicular to your surface so it's just a 90 degree angle showing up um, from your surface and each surface has basically one of those up vectors and now if we calculate the angle between those two surfaces or basically the angle between those two vectors, uh, we can define whether we like to shade this angle smoothly or we, whether we like to have like a hard edge here and separate those two surfaces. Um, and this is illustrated in this uh, kind of thing a, a little bit better. So um, as you can see, we can define the angle between our surfaces and we usually use a decree amount for this and we can say that if an angle is bigger or smaller than a certain value then please use this kind of faceted shading and if it's bigger then maybe we like to use the smooth shading. Um, yeah and to 
to illustrate you that what we use for in Cinema 4D to define this kind of angle or this kind of maximum threshold angle um, we have a certain tag over here in our object hierarchy or next to our object itself so this little thing here is called the Fong tag and Fong is again like a shading method or a, um, algorithm which defines the the angle of our surfaces or what we do with the kind of different angles uh, of our surface so this is why this is called Fong angle and when I reduce the Fong angle you see at some point the angle is um, yeah underneath a certain threshold and therefore we see our cylinder now faceted uh, and like hard shaded like it is now and I think the threshold was right here about 23 degrees so now the angle uh, between those kind of surfaces when it's like um, I think it's bigger than 23 degrees then um, no it, it, it's actually the other way around if it's smaller than 23 degrees um, then use the smooth shading and if it's um, bigger than 23 degrees then use basically the the other shading the hard shading for those kind of corners actually it doesn't matter so much if it's larger or smaller so just keep in mind uh, if you reduce this kind of a degree value here in the Fong angle um, parameter the the smaller this value is the more faceted and the more hard shaded your object will look like um, yeah keep in mind basically that this thing is just a fake effect so as you can see now our object looks smooth but it actually isn't uh, because it has just this a few amount of segmentations. So this is only in like a cheat that our object will look smooth, although it isn't really a smooth shape. But it's uh, a good trick also to save polygons. So um, yeah, in order to to make um, a cylindrical shape looks smooth, let's add a cylinder here, and um, we have the Fong tag also for the parametric objects, and I reduce this to something like this and you see I have to bump up the amount of segments quite a lot in order to make this angle um, or to, to make the segments disappear and actually if I remove it completely we will have no like smooth shading effect at all and then I have to really increase the amount of uh, rotational segments in order to get rid of the segmentation as you can see it really never happens at all um, only if I really really scale that up and if we now activate the garage shading lines again you see we have quite a lot of uh, segmentations here and this would be uh, memory wise but also uh, when working with this it would be quite messy so we usually like to keep this as low as possible and this is where the Fong tags t uh, come in quite handy um, here you can again like search for tags so because um, if you don't know where the tag is ex exactly located you can just type in Fong uh, now do a right click type in Fong and then you can see or get a more uh, focused selection of those kind of things um, yeah as, as you can see by default this is turned off the angle limit you have to activate this to kind of limit the angle on which the, the shading will happen um, yeah you find a few of those informations um, still here in the presentation and the last slide here is just that this thing um, is basically a cheat 